All right, so it's time for the truth. Nine months ago, I put on this product right here. It's Carbon Coat from a company called Carbon Method. I did an entire video on how I go about cleaning my cast iron and exactly how you go about applying this. I, like many others, bought into the hype when Mark Spagnolo, the wood whisperer, did a video and he was very intrigued by it and he was applying it. So I immediately bought some and said, I'll try it out in my shop. Now, nine months ago when I applied this, um, I really liked it. I thought it was very easy to apply and it seemed to do everything that the company says it will do. Now, have people like me and other influencers been lying to all of you? Well, it's nine months later and every couple of days now I get somebody asking, what does it look like? Do you have any regrets? Has it lived up to its promises? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like today. Now, before I show you what my table saw looks like right now, let's first go back and revisit what it looked like nine months ago. As you can see, the surface is very neglected. I will be the first to admit that I am not somebody that is really good about maintaining cast iron. Hence, why I was interested in this product based on the claims that they make. Now, in that video, I did go through how I go about cleaning cast iron surfaces. And you can watch here and see the difference from before and after. Nine months later, this is what my work surface looks like today. I applied four coats because that's what they recommend. I have applied nothing since. That wasn't the only thing that I applied in that video though. Another product that they have is something called Carbon Glide. And what this is, is it's a friction reducer. So um, something that people are probably familiar with would be Glide Coat, Slick Coat. Uh, I think Bow Shield um, makes a product that's similar, which essentially you spray it on, you wipe it off, and your surface is slick for X amount of time. Well, the Carbon Glide is the same thing, only it's formulated to work with the Carbon Coat. So I applied this on top of the carbon coat nine months ago, and I have not done anything since. I have not done any additional maintenance. I have not added any additional coats of the carbon coat. And the reason for that is because I haven't needed to. They market the product as something that eliminates the need for you to continue with cast iron maintenance. That's what drew me to it. That's why I got it nine months later. That's what it looks like. Now, if I was to spray some of this on right now, it would absolutely make it even more slick than it is at this moment, probably taking it back to right after I applied it for the first time. But to be honest with you, I just haven't had the need to do that yet. So this bottle will last me a very, very long time. Now, to be clear, the purpose of Carbon Coat is not to make your surface really slick, right? That's, that's probably the biggest misconception that I've gotten when people ask me about this product. Like, oh, I got it and it didn't make my surface as slick as I wanted. Well, the carbon coat is the protector of the cast iron. It will make it more slick, but that's what this is for, just like you would spray any other external thing on the surface periodically to make sure that it stays smooth. So I think there's some confusion there as to what the purpose of the product is. The purpose of carbon coat, protect your cast iron so you don't have to do maintenance all the time. The purpose of this is to make it slick. Now you've seen the table saw, now I want to talk about the joiner planer because the story there is a little bit different. So I have the Hammer A341 joiner planer combo. Um, and before I get into uh, where it didn't necessarily meet the expectations that I had being the carbon method, I first just want to talk about the condition, right? So same exact thing. I clean this. It looks exactly the same today as it did nine months ago. Um, there is no rust, no spots other than this little line right here, which is my own fault that had that was there before I put the stuff on. It's because I neglected my cast iron surface prior to putting this on. And when I cleaned it, I wasn't able to fully remove that. But other than that, there's nothing different about this. Now let's talk about where the carbon method did not meet my expectations that I was hoping for. And that is reducing the friction on this particular machine more. Now this is not a fault of the product. I just had higher expectations based on my experience at the table saw when I got done applying the stuff and it almost was like an air hockey table when I would push pieces of wood on it. I was like, oh, if it's doing that to this machine, it's going to solve every problem I have with this. Now, I don't for one second regret putting a joiner planer combo in my shop, uh, particularly this specific joiner planer combo. However, the issue that I have and that a lot of other people have with this particular machine is when you are jointing really wide boards, it can really get difficult on the outfeed side pushing the stuff through. Now, I've tried things in the past, slick coat, glide coat, T9. T9 actually absolutely destroyed 
uh, my work surface when I use, or the cast iron surface when I use the rust free stuff. Um, it actually like made it very dark. That's a whole nother conversation. But for the most part, they're things that I have to continuously do more often than any other cast iron surface in my shop. And for me, I think there's two reasons for that. The first reason is the milling pattern that is on these surfaces. It's almost like a half moon shape across. You can actually see the grooves and the ridges. You can actually kind of feel them. The second reason, it leaves such a clean cut. I feel like it actually leaves a really tight friction fit on that surface after it makes the cut because the infeed side is not the problem. It's only the outfeed side. So my hopes were that if I applied the carbon coat, which I did, I did four coats just like I did on the table saw, and then putting the carbon glide on there, that it would help. It did help, but it definitely did not take the problem away. So I contacted the owner of Carbon Coat and I said, hey, what have you done to your machine? Because he has the exact same machine. So we shared some ideas back and forth and I'm just experimenting with a couple of different options. Now, the first thing that I did is I applied more Carbon Coat. I went ahead and added eight additional layers for the purposes of if I can build up those layers, maybe it'll kind of fill in those peaks and valleys on this particular machine. Again, I'm talking about this machine specifically. And then the second thing that I did is I'm trying a product that is in development from Carbon Method, and that is a, it's a wax, but it is a wax that works with this coating. Same technology, they blend together. This, I have the ability to use on this, and we'll see how effective it really is. So what I've done is I've added eight additional coats, and I've added two coats of the wax, and then on top of that, I will be spraying the carbon glide to see if that makes a substantial difference. And for those of you that have this machine, please feel free to reach out to me periodically and find out what's working, how it's going. Um, time will tell. We'll revisit that later on once I come up with a really good solution for that to, to really get this to be as slick as possible. But going back to, again, what's the purpose of the product? The purpose of the product was to eliminate the need for maintenance on your cast iron and protect your cast iron. And as you can see, it's doing just that. I have not done anything else to this machine since I applied it with the exception of just applying more for the purposes I just explained. So would I recommend this product? My answer is yes. Matter of fact, I'm about to have a new table saw and a band saw in my shop. And the very, very first thing that I will be applying to those tools when I get them set up is this product. I gave you all of the evidence that you need to show you that it does what they say it does. Protects your cast iron and eliminates the need to continuously maintain cast iron. To me, that's what I wanted and that is exactly what I got. So I'll let you make your own determinations from this video. And if you want to eliminate cast iron maintenance, then 100%, I would absolutely recommend this product. Thanks.